In establishing a causal association, I looked at a few things. One, I looked at the literature review, and then I looked at patients. Now, in looking at the literature review, I looked in a, at a couple things. One was there is a correlation of people that were outdoor workers had a higher risk of suicide compared to librarians. And veterans have a higher risk. And veterans, now, although you could explain it maybe in more than one way, they're also in basic training in that environment where they may be at risk. And there's a fair amount of tick-borne diseases at many of the bases where basic training occurs. And so that's one correlation, epidemiological correlation. You can also see that um, suicide is a geographical pattern. There's certain geographical patterns to it. Now, then the next thing is looking at the medical literature with correlating infections in general being associated with um, suicide risk, particularly chronic infections, particularly when it's close proximity to the infection. Then the next thing is looking at the medical literature of case reports of patients who have had Lyme disease who become suicidal who were not suicidal before acquiring Lyme disease. Then the next way I looked at it was I looked at um, my case histories of people, of patients that I've treated and went through a chart review and, and saw the correlation with suicidal risk uh, that was occurred after having Lyme disease that was not present before Lyme disease. So the control group were these patients before they acquired Lyme disease. So when I added that up, there was certainly a very clear correlation between uh, Lyme disease and suicide in a certain percent of people. 